This little man is the coolest robber. To do a new job, he infiltrated the family under the guise of a baby. Hello everyone, Dr. Fox. Today I will tell you about the movie Chris the Little One. Calvin is a genius short-time robber. He was released today, and his friend was met by Percy's bro. He told him about a new business, you need to steal a diamond, they paid 100,000 bucks for it. Meanwhile, a young couple Vanessa and Daryl were having lunch at a restaurant. The girl said she had a surprise, the guy thought she was pregnant, but it turned out that she was just promoted at work. This upset Daryl, and he had long dreamed of becoming a father. Our shorty got down to business, Percy took out a Glock and intends to storm the store, but Cal is smarter. While the bro was distracting the consultant, the little one, unnoticeably hiding in a bag, sneaks under the counter with a precious stone. He drilled a circle and stole a diamond. The job is done. It remains only to get out, unfortunately, some woman noticed them, she heard her dog barking in her bag. Because of this dog, the guys were noticed and the police were called. These two were going to escape unnoticed, but someone blocked the wheel of the car, so I had to run on my own two feet. The potential criminals took refuge in the store, and the police came for them. The robbers split up to hide the stone, Calvin throws it into Vanessa's bag. One of the policemen started beating a random visitor with a baton. And do you know why? Because there was an orientation that the robber was an African-American partner, and the policeman got to a random black guy. Percy and Calvi managed to escape to return the stone, the guys went after the newlyweds. Our partners were trying to find the bag. And they found her, now we need to figure out how to get into the house. Percy wanted to do it the old-fashioned way, with a gun, but Calvi said, dude, I don't want to go to jail anymore. Then the man proposed a new plan. Disguise yourself as a child and infiltrate this family undercover. Calvi couldn't give it up. Having made himself look good, Cal was placed under the door of the young couple. Suddenly a dog appeared. She relieved herself right on Cal, Daryl went out on the porch and noticed the child. They took him home, and then changed his clothes and washed him, because after the work of the cunning dog, the smell was not very pleasant. Vanessa offered to take Cal to the shelter, but upon hearing this, the child began to cry and cough. The guys thought he was sick and took him to the doctor. It was interesting during the inspection. Everyone was surprised that the guy had a tattoo on his shoulder, and his teeth looked like a 40-year-old man. Vanessa asked what kind of animals could do such a thing. Daryl supported the girl and offered to keep the child for himself. As a result, while the couple were discussing the baby's future, Kelvin had already stolen the bag and headed for the exit. Unfortunately, he was caught by a guard. At this time, Percy was reporting to the boss. The guy is in big trouble because he still hasn't delivered the diamond, and if he doesn't do it soon, he's screwed. In the evening, Cal felt hungry, and he began to take cookies from his grandfather, and when he was indignant, Cal ground the cookies under his armpits, put them in a diaper, and his grandfather was very unlucky with this prankster. The next day, Cal tried to flirt with Vanessa, our sly guy begged for milk, he got what he wanted, just not from the girl I was counting on. The guest and Vanessa leave. Finally, the woman wanted to kiss the child, but Cal took the opportunity and skillfully kissed her. On the doctor's recommendation, the couple decided to take Cal's temperature. There was only one moment. The thermometer needs to be inserted into a circle with folds, and Cal has lost his virginity. When these two fell asleep, our hero decided to steal a brolic. He found the diamond and was about to run away, but his grandfather woke up and brought a gun. Grandpa guessed that something was wrong. He tried to get the idea across to Daryl, but the man called him crazy. Daryl promised the kid to become a better father and take him to the park. Cal was so imbued with these words that at some point he really wanted to be an ordinary child, live in this family and not worry about adulthood. That night, the couple decided to make cupcakes. And Cal was watching them all this time. In the morning, Vanessa woke up and this little sly guy was lying in her bed. At breakfast the little one also started smoking and he robbed his grandfather again. The prankster chewed up all his bacon. Grandfather is tired of these antics, because he has been sitting hungry for days. A little later, Vanessa left for work. But Daryl was left with the baby and needed to be fed. But Cal didn't want to eat baby food. He persuaded dad to play hide and seek. 
Daryl had little luck with him and was hit with a frying pan. Malloy wanted to run away, but Vanessa returned and ruined everything. The guys went to play in the park. The game didn't go well for Daryl again. Something was always flying into his groin, either a ball or an airplane. Dad decided to rest, and meanwhile the little one was protecting the local children. He demanded fees from them for playing on the court. Suddenly Percy appeared. He wanted to steal the bags, but this bastard is mistaken and stole diapers instead of a diamond. Well, it's time to go home. Cal came up with a brilliant idea. What if he stole Batty's car? With your squeaky voice. He begged for the keys. He also hit the guy in the knee, then ran away. Daryl catches the car and gives chase. The guy thinks that the car was stolen by a criminal and that Cal is in danger. At this time, Cal was noticed by the cops. I had to give a hard drift and turn at the intersection. There were more and more cars with cops, and in the end they were able to stop the saboteur. But Cal didn't do it with his finger, but he spent them. The boy jumped onto the child's seat, and the police thought that the criminal had left. Percy brought the bag to the boss and said that he had a brownie, but he was bald. Instead of brolic there was baby milk and diapers. The boss gave the guy one last chance, if he doesn't find the diamond, the big guy will kill him. Daryl took Cal to a hockey game, the child took the diamond out of the bag and put it in his mouth to take it out unnoticed. Daryl noticed this, he asked the baby to open his mouth and, so as not to get be invisible, Cal swallowed the diamond. Nothing, the little one took revenge on him. He shouted all sorts of nasty things from the stands, and Darilla flew in for it. At the end, the guy actually threw a glass of ice at the hockey player. The thug wanted to beat our father. But Cal came to his senses and stood up for Daryl. In the evening, the parents decided to give the baby a birthday party. The party was boring, and Cal decided to laugh at the animator. He said his job was crap and started a fight. At this time, my grandfather was watching TV, he saw how they were talking about a diamond thief on the news. As you might have guessed, it was Calvin. One of the dads suggested playing football, children against fathers. The strong dad's team always won. Cal bursts into the new game. He gave this guy a hard time on the first day. Oh, the man will definitely remember this game. By the way, the grandfather, who hated Cal, decided to give him a teddy bear. Apparently the old man is up to something. After the holiday, Cal began having digestive problems. He downed an entire bottle of laxative. The man wanted to go to the toilet, but did not have time to get there and did his business in front of everyone. Vanessa changed his diaper, but bad luck. She found the diamond that Cal had recently swallowed. The girl thought it was Daryl's surprise. She thanked him in every possible way, and they left for the restaurant. Grandfather began questioning Cal about the theft, and he confessed everything to him. Bandits were hunting for him, and if he didn't return the brolic, they would kill him. Grandfather was not particularly affected by this. Therefore, a fierce fight began. When our lovebirds returned home, they saw all this. Grandfather was yelled at. He tried to prove that Cal was a criminal, asked to check the bear, where the hidden camera was hidden. Well, all to no avail. That night, Daryl decided to check the recording. He discovers that Calvin is not a child at all, and that it was he who stole the diamond. The guy told Vanessa about this, but neither Call nor Brulick are there anymore. The partners rejoice, now they are fabulously rich, but Call's conscience has awakened. He couldn't leave Daryl with nothing, because he replaced his father, so the little one came back. There were robbers in Daryl's house, they demanded a diamond, but Cal appears when the lights went out. He charged the thugs on the head, and he turned out to be so stupid that he didn't even understand who beat him. The leader was simply shocked, taking advantage of the opportunity, Daryl ran away, and the bandits split up. Cal took out another one with no problem using a launch rocket and a rubber stick. At this time, the boss had already found Daryl, but was beaten with rubber gloves. Meanwhile, the bandits have recovered and go to Al, who is naturally not afraid of them and, with the help of a hanging diaper, gives the heat. Boss Daryl comes into the kitchen, the man sees Cal, who was playing with an airplane, he ordered him to throw it. The hint is clear, the baby launches the toy and hits the target. Just then the police arrived, the bandits were arrested, and
and Cal still took the path of reform. He gave Bruley to the police, and then told Daryl that he was a great man, he had fun with him and he replaced Cal's father. Later they became great friends, and Cal and his grandfather finally found a common language. Hey, how about we drop some booze into the milk? Doesn't work, let's go to the bar.